Rise and shine. Good morning, guys. We are up cleaning out the tent. <clears throat> Getting ready to leave this place. Woo! Feels good. I love waking up at a campground. It's so nice. The air's fresh. Just feels pretty good. We're leaving our campground to drive about 50 or 45 minutes north to the Grand Canyon. But first, we gotta find a Starbucks so I can upload yesterday's vlog. Because you know, it wouldn't be wilderness survival without a nice venti mocha frappuccino. My video is currently exporting at a Starbucks with Chomek and Chris and I are going to find some coffee in town. Uh, there's like six cool coffee shops, so I'm really excited. You guys know how much I love the coffee. Even though I said I was trying to quit it, uh, just like a little cup here or there isn't gonna kill me, I don't think. But I guess that's what every addict says. You don't have to be looking for blood. Found some local coffee and it's delicious. So that's a great start to the day. We're the geniuses that show up to the Grand Canyon the day of, hoping to find a campground. Not happening. Otherwise, I'm about to see the Grand Canyon for the first time in my entire life. I can see a bit of it, and it's blowing my mind already, so. It's hard to really grasp how, how big it is, too. That's the weird thing. Like, it, you think it, your eyes can understand the, the heights of these rocks, but it's so much deeper. Do it for the gram, man. Put your life on the line. So worth it. You got? There he is, Ranger Joe on the edge of it all. Josh, you made that pile of rocks? I wish, bro. That's talent right there. There's like no tourists here at all, guys. It's like basically the middle of the wilderness. You know, just all alone out here. Just enjoying the real, real nature. Back to the roots, really, man. You know, you're just enjoying the, the silence. We're at our campground. There's just giant, this giant moose looking creature walking around over there. I want to get a better view of it. Thing is giant. The cave was super hot earlier while we were here, so we went back to our campsite and set up camp, relaxed for a bit. Now we're heading back. It's 4.55 right now. So we're gonna try to catch the sunset in a little bit in a few hours. And for now, just kind of hang out and look at the, the views. So look at that. Oh my goodness. It's just unreal, man. Up, oh, Josh. Hey. We're waiting for the sun to set now. We found a pretty cool spot right here. And it's just, it kind of makes Show you realize how Show far out it really goes. <laughs> Dude, but look at that. Uh, oof. Oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. Traveling down a lonely highway. I knew not where the road would end. We're going into the danger zone right now. Just, uh, on the living on a prayer on the edge of it all. You alright? Here, hold this. Got you soaps. Come on down. Good. Whew. On these ledges, just hiking along. We're not even up yet. Going up this way? Oh man, this is insane. Yeah, that's not safe. But once you reach the top, you reach the top, guys. I mean, look at this view. We're doing a little photo shoot right here at the edge. Damn. For Chris's clothing, he's getting ready to release. Oh, the ones from above are sick. But I mean, guys, I I can't. I know I've said the same thing probably 30 times in this vlog, but look at this. Not a penny in my pocket. All alone without a friend. Incredible. We're done. We did That's it. it, guys. Sun just went down, right, and honestly, 
top 10, most, well top five, maybe top three, top two most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen in my life. Maybe Grand Canyon has been right. awesome. I would not recommend coming in August because the daytime is really hot, but nighttime is, I mean, I'm sure the nighttime is beautiful all year, but right now it's like killer. I may scale this wall right here to get up. Maybe I'll just go the easy route. <laughs> this is gonna be goodbye to the Grand Canyon until who knows when, until I come back. I'll be back. I always come back. I cried in sorrow Oh Lord, I see his burdens Are greater than mine